Hey everyone, today I'm going to road test the Roland DM2100 studio monitors. It's a 2.1 system as you can see. Left and right treble speakers and a subwoofer in the middle. This is a 50 watt system in the subwoofer and then you've got 15 watts either side in those smaller speakers there. Controls here on the right, standby switch and bass and treble control and separate volume controllers for each side. But anyway, that's enough chatter. Let's hear how it sounds. I've just got a fairly cheap Casio keyboard set up with a basic arpeggio. And that is beautiful. That's shaking the floor with perfect clarity. There's that really springy, rubbery sort of bass note right there. And let's try the treble. You hear that delay fade out in the effect. That's a left and right panning delay. I know you can't hear that on your speakers because I'm recording in mono, but utterly crystal clear. There's no background noise whatsoever that I can pick up. And I think the next test is to try some rhythm. A little bit like that. The thing to watch out for is the bass drum sound as opposed to the hi-hat sounds. And in a cheaper, poorer quality speaker system, those two sounds will often cancel them out, particularly the bass drum sound will become dominant. But I think if you listen here, you'll hear that nothing's being cancelled out. Everything's coming through perfectly. Sometimes you'll hear cars driving down the street, for example, with a massive subwoofer, and you'll hear a kind of a boom, shh, boom, shh kind of sound. The hi-hat seems to fade in after each bass drum hit. And that's the sign, to me, of a poor quality speaker system because the bass is so hard hitting that it's actually cancelling out the speaker's ability to get through that trebly hi-hat sort of sound. And that's something you want to watch out for and avoid. And uh, hey, if you like that kind of sound and you know, you're quite content with you know, missing out on a certain percentage of the actual music that you're meant to be hearing, then fine, go ahead and buy that sort of thing. But if you're monitoring, making music, or if you need your sound to be crystal clear and perfectly flat in its response between bass, treble, and everything in the middle, then the Roland DM2100 is exactly the kind of speaker system that you need. So let's try listening to some more percussion. So you can just hear the tambourine coming in there and again, no loss of volume in the detail of the treble section while it's still pumping out a reasonably heavy sort of bass. I'm gonna try turning up the bass a bit now. Try cancelling a bit of bass. More treble. And that's the end of that little sequence from the keyboard. It's actually divided into a bass control and a tone control, but really, uh, tone is an overall sweep of tone, but it's having more of an effect on treble as you go through. And of course, cutting the bass has an even larger effect. That really seems to bring out the treble very brightly. So if you did want to listen to your higher register and maybe ease off on some of that bass so you can get a really extra clear picture of what's going on up there, then that's the control you want to be using. And of course, your left and right controls, which if you're scoring for a, a motion picture of some kind, Sometimes differentials between how much signal you're getting out of left and right can make a big difference. Okay, taking a look at the back of the system, we've got our RCAs in here, which I've just been using for that demo. Dedicated right and left six millimeter inputs as well. These are the control cables that run to the subwoofer. And there is also a coaxial socket there and an optical socket as well if you're using some if you're transferring digital sound through an optical cable. At the back of the subwoofer is simply your control cable here, left and right speaker outputs and power button and power in. And the final speaker is just a slave with its left input socket there as you can see. So the verdict I think is quite clear. This is a superior system and it's a great multi-purpose system as well. Excellent for the musician who wants to monitor their recordings to absolute precision 
excellent for a film editor or somebody making, uh, compiling home movies, those kinds of things, and wants a bit of quality, a lot of control over sound response, or simply as your home theater system, listening to music, watching films, and really getting the most out of them. This system is really going to put you quite a noticeable stage up from your basic systems that you get from general audio retailers. So that's the Roland DM2100. I'll play you out with a little bit of music. <laughs> Thank you.